So why do I think that gravitational waves would be used for transporting intelligent messages? Well, I came up with six reasons. The first one being gravitational waves uh, can be detected 365 days out of the year, 24 hours a day, regardless of weather conditions. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's raining or snowing, night or day, cloudy, whatever. Uh, gravitational wave detectors will detect waves all the time. The second reason is that gravitational waves um, are more like sound waves where the, you can hear them. Um, it's like putting a microphone in a room. You don't have to point the microphone in the uh, direction. It'll pick up any sound that's in the room. So gravitational waves will detect, or gravitational wave detectors will detect waves regardless of what direction they're coming in. The third reason is that gravitational waves are not impeded by interstellar dust. Uh, so a gravitational wave that's generated on the other side of the universe, by the time it gets to, the, to us, uh, it will be virtually uh, unaltered. The fourth reason is that um, uh, gravitational waves that are generated by natural sources are very low frequency. Like uh, it's uh, 10 to the minus 3 hertz uh, all the way up to uh, a few kilohertz. So um, above that would be very quiet. So that would be an ideal place to be transporting intelligent signals because there's no naturally occurring uh, gravitational waves at, at very high frequencies. The fifth reason is that I feel that uh, seriously advanced civilizations would choose gravitational waves over radio waves because that ensures that a sufficiently advanced civilization would be in a position to receive those waves. And we're not there yet because we have not been able to build a gravitational wave detector that works, never mind a, a gravitational wave transmitter. The sixth reason is that there are no terrestrial sources of gravitational waves, that we are not transmitting um, any gravitational waves uh, to my knowledge. So in summary, I would like to uh, explain how I think that we can do this. If there are uh, advanced civilizations out there that are sending us uh, um, intelligence in uh, gravitational waves, the first step is, uh, of course, to build a time variance gravitational wave detector. Because it is uh, uh, capable of receiving high frequencies, that would be the ideal uh, detector to, um, to utilize. Uh, once this uh, time variance uh, detector is built, then we will need to send the signals from this detector to the LIGO science community and, uh, and do its, uh, so they can do their processing on this. And uh, once it's, uh, the software has been modified to process the signals from the time variance uh, detector, then the uh, output of this needs to be sent to the SETI team so that they can uh, process um, that signal. Um, once uh, the SETI team uh, receives it, then that can be sent over the internet to the SETI at Home project. And of course, the SETI at Home uh, software is uh, currently designed just to uh, receive and analyze uh, radio signals from uh, Arecibo and from the Allen Telescope Array. So the SETI at Home software itself will have to be modified so that it can uh, can analyze uh, gravitational waves uh, for content uh, for intelligence.